Hello, welcome back to my channel, Marley here, and today, first off, I just want to say sorry that I wasn't here the last two days, um, I was somewhere else at the moment, but today I'm very, very tired, so, um, I'm just here doing some sketching in my book and all that, so I'll be showing you how to make little animals and all that tiny stuff. So I got this like a really long time ago. On the inside I have lots of drawings that I've stuck in there before. Some of these were in my past videos. This one I did with my friend Poppy. Um, she tried to copy what I was doing. It turned out a fail. But I'll link that in the description if you want to check that out. Go! So today I'll just be doing some more drawing. So I've got this long piece of paper which I'll just get started. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do it like this. I'm just going to um, draw two big eyes because I think animals are cuter with big eyes. If you haven't seen my past videos, um, when I was drawing, um, a little animal, like, thingy called Bob, um, you can go check that out as well, because I, I do lots and lots of videos of me doing this. So technically I'll be drawing a version of Bob. I normally draw these on the whiteboard in class, some odd reason. I honestly don't know why, but um, I normally do. Now I'm just going to draw the inside of her ears. He or she? Can Bob be a girl's name? I think so. Yeah. Comment down below, what do you think, do you think Bob is a girl name, or a boy name, or both? You never really know. But I think Bob or Bobby would be a good name. So now I'm just snipping that, cleaning the edges. And there is Bob. Now we're going to go on and do a Jeff. So, um, another big eyed one. Jeff is like the weird bunny creature that I do normally all the time. So, another one with really big eyes. The bigger the eyes, the nicer and cuter it would get. Well, that's what I think, really. Now we draw the little nose. As you can see, I don't draw the whole body. I only draw, like, part of the head or something. As you have might have noticed before. Now, Jeff has this weird hairstyle at the top. I don't know why. And the ears will be coloured in differently because I normally, with Jeff, colour the outer ear, not the inside, like Bob. So I just do that. Sorry for the awkward silence. There we go, we have a bob. I mean, Jeff, even. Did I say bob or Jeff? Names get mixed up, really. I have so much scrap paper. 
Now for the grand finale. I'll be drawing Giraffe. He is my all-time favourite. Um, nobody knows Giraffe. He's just a weird giraffe creature that I call Giraffe because it's just a cute name. And why am I keeping on to blabber? I don't know. I always talk like so. But yeah, with Giraffe I don't colour in the nose. I draw two dots like they're little nose holes or something like that. Now Giraffe does have ears like little tiny ears. Now I normally colour in the inside of these giraffe ears. Can't forget those. It's there. And then I draw spots on the outside because, well, why not? And now I think I'll make it a baby giraffe don't know why just felt like it now i'll be cutting it out and i'll be back in a moment when i go get the glue hi i'm back with the glue and um now i have all of my little Animals, my favourite one is Baby Giraffo. I've never made a Baby Giraffo before. This one is Bob. This one is Jeff. This one Baby Giraffo. Sorry for the weird impressions today. I'm lonely. So now I got to flick to the last page that I've done this. Now I stick them in. So I'll just be sticking them like so. Don't know why I turned the book sideways. Maybe I just felt like it. Never really know, do you? No. So yeah, I'll be like this and like that. Then I take this and I glue it like that. I smushed his face. And now we got to get the Jeff on the page. I should use that phrase more often, really. i got to get the Jeff on the page. Hmm. Catchy. Now the one and only Baby Giraffo. Normally I'd do a normal Giraffo, but I thought Baby Giraffo would be cuter. You know, you feel me? How much of this glue is left? I think that's it. So I gotta be sparing with this glue. I normally just use a Pritt stick like this one. I got this at Morrison's. If you're in America right now watching me, Morrison's is a superstore. Like Walmart, technically. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Now I've done that. Now I must smush their faces, close my book, tie it back together. And now my book is done. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to do uh, my sketchbook part two, because then I would do that for you. I mean, I'd do it anyway. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that notification bell to get notified on all the videos that I create. And follow me. Always be creative and always have fun. Bye, guys.